All right, so this is the new Sony Enzone H9 wireless gaming headset for the PS5, and this is how it sounds. Our flag has been captured. Frag! So this Enzone H9 gaming headset works with the PS5, also your PC and your smartphone. So the way this works is that inside of the box, you get things like a USB-C cable that's used for charging, but you also get this USB type A dongle that you need to plug in on your PS5. And the PS5 does have a USB port right there on the front that makes it very convenient for you. Then also you can plug this into your Windows computer. And then also the Bluetooth will allow you to pair this with your smartphone. So this means that if you are gaming on your PlayStation 5 and you in this headset you can also have this paired with your smartphone so now when you get a phone call in you can answer that phone call using the headset or if you want to like play like a driving game and listen to some music that you have downloaded on your smartphone you can do that all at the same time oh and let's talk about the design of this headset so it has the same color scheme as the playstation 5 so you have black and white and it is a little bit big like the playstation 5 is big itself so when i do put this on my head you know it does look big but i do already have a big head so it doesn't look as big as it might look on yours but look i'm not trying to look cute when i am gaming so i don't mind the size now i can also say that these are very comfortable to wear for a long time because they do weigh around 330 grams and also the ear cushions are super plush and they remind me of the ear cushions that are on the new Sony WH-1000X and 5s that also come from Sony but then also these are definitely softer than the Pulse 3D gaming headset that launched with the PlayStation 5 so you can see here with this side by side that you get a lot more depth there when you are squeezing in so that means when you put this on your head and you have these wrapped around your ears they're not going to be uncomfortable you don't have a lot of that clamping force and clamping pressure that you sometimes get on gaming headsets so I've used these for like I think maybe in the longest session for around three hours and they were comfortable for me. Oh, and something else that adds to the comfort is this very nice headband at the top. Very soft, just like the ear cups. And I think it is also made out of synthetic leather, just like the uh, ear cups are too. So overall, I'm liking the design, but one thing I did notice over the past couple of weeks is that I did find some little black scuffs on the white part of the headset. And so it is very easy to remove. You can just lick your finger like I do, or you can get like a wet rag or something and wipe it off. But that is one thing I noticed. But overall, I really like the design of this headset because especially with the ear cups, they do swivel. So this is definitely good when you put it on your head, but especially when you take the headset off, you can lay it on your neck here and it, it will lay flat. And then also when people start making travel cases for this, you'll be able to lay them flat like this which will make the case not have to be as thick as if the headset could only be like this oh and something else that you will find on each ear cup is this little indicator light right here that will light up when you have this plugged in and then when you are using bluetooth it will also light up in blue and now I'm also digging the button layout on this headset. So on the right ear cup, you find a couple of buttons that will allow you to adjust the balance between game and chat audio. Then you also find a Bluetooth button and then also the power button. And on the left ear cup, you will find the USB-C port along with the little indicator light next to that. And then also you will find a button to be able to switch between noise cancellation and ambient sound mode. And then also you will find the volume controls right here that are this kind of like little pimple <laughs> on the headset. So it's raised up a little bit to make it look a bit easier for you to find when you have this on your head you can't really see what you're doing uh, but I did wish that the actual wheel to be able to adjust the volume was actually raised up a little bit higher than this pimple um, to allow you to find that a little bit easier but overall I'm liking this but now let's get back to this noise cancellation and ambient sound mode button for a second so these two features you normally find on traditional over-the-ear headphones but you don't really always see them on gaming headsets so it's nice to see that here so basically that uh, digital noise cancellation will allow you to be able to block out noise like your kids running around or the dog or maybe you might be sitting next to your gaming computer and that might have some loud fans especially like gaming laptops this will help you drown that noise
And so I have to be honest with you, before I started using these, noise cancellation was nowhere near the top of my list when it came to features that I wanted to see on a gaming headset, but it does make sense. But what I really do use a lot is the ambient sound mode because typically when I am gaming, I have the volume turned up all the way and these do get pretty loud, uh, but I do also wanna be able to hear things around me if I do pause the game or something a lot easier. So I use the ambient sound mode more than I do noise cancellation, but that might be different for you. All right, so now let's talk battery life. So Sony says you can get up to 32 hours of use on one single charge, but that will be dependent on how heavy you are using the noise cancellation mode and stuff. So if you have it completely off, you can get close to that. But um, if you have those things on, you might find the, uh, the battery life start to come down. So uh, again, I've been using these over the past couple of weeks. I've only had to charge them once, but I have been playing a lot of games. So uh, the battery life is pretty good on this headset. Now, if you do come to this headset and it is completely dead because you forgot to charge it overnight, this does does support fast charge so using the USB-C cable in just 10 minutes you can get up to 60 minutes of playtime out of this headset so that's pretty nice to have. All right, so the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from the microphone on this headset, this thing right here. So you can rotate this to get it in position and also it is bendy so you can bend it towards your mouth. And also when you do wanna mute the microphone, you, all you have to do is just rotate it up and that will automatically mute it. And then when you rotate it down, the microphone will be active. Now I'm not quite sure if you can hear it or not. I haven't been able to listen to this yet, but I do have my gaming computer over here, maybe around five feet away from me right now. I use it connected to my TV to game. And um, so the fans are going right now. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone, but if you can't, that is a good thing. So this microphone, um, from what I can tell and from what I've been asking people that I've been playing online with is that it does not really have a lot of background noise. It does a good job of just isolating my voice and making me sound loud and clear. Oh, and for those who like to use Discord, this headset is Discord certified. And also I currently have this headset plugged into my Mac. I know earlier I said this headset is made for PC and PS5, but it will work with Macs. Just plug that USB dongle inside of it. And now you can use this as some headphones or you can also use use the microphone as well. Now, when it comes to audio quality, look, I gave you a test earlier in the video and I really like the way these sound, so hopefully you did too. Leave your comment down below and let me know what you think. But overall, uh, this headset has 40 millimeter drivers in each ear cup. And I have to say the sound is good. Like the bass is there, um, the highs and the mids are very balanced along with the low end. And so I found that when I was just playing games or even listening to some music with this headset, I was very uh, satisfied with it. And I will say for $299, your expectations definitely are gonna be a lot higher than other cheaper headsets and I've used a couple of other gaming headsets around this price range and some that cost even more and while I wouldn't say that these are like audio file level type of gaming headphones compared to some other ones um, out there I will say that most just general consumers will be very satisfied with the audio quality that you're getting out of these now alongside the balanced audio for this headset Sony has also thrown in spatial audio support so spatial audio basically feels like you have multiple speakers around your head above behind you to the side of you and it allows this very immersive effect to happen when you're playing games like Horizon Zero Dawn and when I'm just running around the environment and have all these different noises from the machines and animals and things and I can very accurately kind of pinpoint where they are and turn and go ahead and address them but also if you're playing like a first person shooter or something this is going to help give you some type of an advantage when it comes to just having those good good audio cues to be able to know where the enemy is. Enemy spy plane inbound. thing about this end zone H9 is that it also supports that Tempest 3D audio technology. So that works with the PlayStation 5. But if you do use this with the PC, you can still get that spatial audio effect. And to make your spatial sound experience even better, Sony has made an app that you can download on your phone and using the headset, you can kind of map out your ear and this will allow it to basically fine tune the spatial sound support individually and just personalize for you. And after you do this, you can go into the end zone hub app that you can download on your PC. PC, and this will allow you to get even more customization of the headset. So with that spatial sound, you can upload that profile that you made with the app on your phone to this app on your computer. But then also you can do other things like setting different sound profiles and they have a couple of different presets in the equalizer from flat to bass boost. I mean, even one for when you're listening to music and videos, or you can create your own custom one and adjust the sliders up and down to your personal taste. And also in this app, you can adjust the microphone audio, the side tone, you can turn noise canceling or 
the ambient sound modes on or off. You can also adjust the master volume and the game and chat audio. So you don't always have to reach up on your headset. You can do most of this stuff here in the app. And then in device settings, you can choose how long you want the headset to remain on before it automatically turns itself off to save battery. And then also you can choose what happens when you turn the headset on, whether or not you want noise cancellation to also be turned on, or you can choose ambient sound mode or nothing. So yeah, I'm liking this control that you have with this app uh, for the headset. But when you are using it with PS5, you don't have this type of customization um, that you get inside of this app. But when you are using it on your PC, uh, you will get that extra layer of customization. And so for $299, this is a premium gaming headset. And while it might not offer the absolute best audio quality that you can get for this price, I think this is one of the better feature packed gaming headsets out there with that spatial sound and also the ambient sound mode um, and noise cancellation and things. And with this design, I think it's a very comfortable headset. So I think it's definitely worth the price point when you look at other headsets, when you throw in all of these extra features. But if you don't want to spend this much, Sony has also launched their Enzone H3 gaming headset, which is obviously wired as you can see. And so you're not getting ambient sound mode or noise cancellation, but you are getting that spatial sound support, um, just like you find in the H9. And the ear cups aren't as comfortable as they are on the H9, but generally this still is a really good headset and this will cost $99. So you have a little bit of a, a choice here between the two. And then if you want another option, Sony also has the Enzone H7, which I don't have here, but it will sit right here in between these two. So it's more like the H9 because it is wireless um, and it does support spatial sound and all those things, but it doesn't have uh, the noise cancellation or the ambient sound mode. But for right now, that's all I got. I'm about to go ahead and start gaming. I need to finish up my uh, campaign of Horizon Zero Dawn. I've been playing that for months. It's a pretty long game, but it is fun. But anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.